Welcome back. Director of RTI Motilal Keni says that RTI Act is an antidote to corruption. He was speaking at the Legal Literacy Camp on Right to Information Act. The camp was organized by Goa State Information Commission. The camp was held in Kankon. It was organized by Goa State Information Commission in coordination with Taluka Legal Service Committee at Kankon. RTI Secretary N.S. Amunkar, Cleofat Kutino, the member of Law Commission, Director of RTI Motilal Keni and Advocate Joyce D'Souza were present for the camp. It is an antidote to corruption. Right to information was at a time as Hindustan and Jinji's camp by the end. The RTI and the Nanya. What I had to say to Kani was corruption to corruption. Cleofat Kutino, member of Law Commission, says that RTI Act has brought about transparency, adding that there is need for re-look at the law. He also informed that RTI Act has been used to blackmail authorities as they have a lot to hide. The right to Information Act is one law. Of course, it is not a law. In fact, it has become a democratic way of life. But a class has developed in the country, in, the, in, the, in our state, in the country, which is seeking information to blackmail authorities. But then why is this happening? This is happening because authorities have a lot to hide. Our reporter Babesh Borkar from Kankon. Now a look at the political events in the state. Shiv Sagar Sangatna intends to fill its candidate in my constituency. The member of Sangatna questioned why should an outsider contest in my constituency? They want a local person to represent them. Paying get the last Tani Gaza, Puria get the other TV get the last Tani Gaza, the Moenot Kidak, a baile o medwar. The integrity Poisha Samanan, Yellow Gaza Kide, Oshidista. Then Chaitla Amikam Kurushakana Kiri, Amcha Moecha, Kon Nuron Dile, then got ticket dealer, take Amkurusha Chanakiri, Amka Sandi, the Alokan Yamka Sandi Duchi. हमचे संगठनिक संधि दिवची आम्ही आता ठरेता की आम्ही आमचं कोणतरी एक उमेदवार उभे करतले पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हैव स्टार्टेड देयर कॅम्पेन इन कानकॉन पण एनएमएलए रमेश तवडकर आफ्टर डी लिमिटेशन इज प्लॅनिंग टू कंटेस्ट फ्रॉम कानकॉन सेंट्रल एसटी युवा लीडर्स आर आल्सो सीन मूविंग विथ तवडकर फॉर कॅम्पेन अनेक कार्यकर्ते घरातले बाहेर सरले पण एक कृष्ण भावसा बहिणी सुद्धा नसा की आमच्या प्रचारात बाहेर सरलेले असा की आमका अत्यंत उत्कृष्ट प्रतिसाद मिळत असा पाटल्या पाच वर्षांक जे जे आमदार म्हणून आम्ही काम केलं असतं ताजे समाधान म्हणून की लोकांच्या बरोबर रिस्पॉन्स मेळटा की भारतीय जनता पक्ष बरे गोयांक सरकार दिवपा शकता अशा तऱ्हेचा एक संदेश घेऊन ती लोक या प्रचारात सामील झाले असतात काँग्रेस टिकेट एस्पिरंट इजिदोर फेर्नांडिस हॅज स्टार्टेड कॅम्पेनिंग इन रुरल पार्ट ऑफ कानकॉन कॉर्नर मीटिंग्स वर ऑल्सो हेल्ड विजय पै खोथ हू इज ऑल्सो इन फ्रे हावेवर इज सी मुव्हिंग अलोन इज स्टील नॉट शुअर ऑन विच टिकेट ही वेल कंटेस्ट Bureau report Prudent Media The upcoming cash rich Premier League soccer could be a good news for footballers but it can become a headache for I League club owners President of the Goa Football Association and Tempo Sports Club Srinivas Tempo feels that the PLS cannot be just dismissed as a bad thing as of now he wants to assess PLS in entirety before giving a verdict As a club owner uh, I am a little perplexed still as to how the whole system will operate because so far we haven't gone to the grass tax saying that you know we are going to sit and discuss with all the concerned people uh, i know that mr kulasa has already talked to mr kushal das of aif mm. he is uh, still awaiting for more details to come in uh, for us as clubs of belonging to the goa state to take a decision uh, in one way we feel that unless this sort of systems come in football will never make money but in the other way if it's going to be only bengal and not goa and not bombay maharashtra then how does this development take place you know the i league players are barred from playing in the pls at least as of now but dempo has raised a doubt about whether in future these players may opt to leave the i league to play in the pls for lure of money there's a limit to how much you can stop the players exactly uh, you know if it's for their own betterment but at the same time we feel then what happens to the i league Yeah. because i heard one statement in your own tv by mr utpal ganguly saying that you know the non i league players mm. are free to play but then you know whether the i league players will become non i league players in the future we need to wait and watch 
Meanwhile, former India midfielder Alvito Dikunia has advised youngsters to focus on I League and not fall prey to the temptation of money. If any talented guy he thinks he's got a future, but I think he should rather prefer to play for the club than prefer to play for the PLS. Because the club still has the highest recognition in India for the I League. That's yeah, definitely, definitely. And he he can go a long way. He's got a bright future. But then, if he can prove himself in the PLS, yeah. he still believes that he can make himself available for the, any of the big clubs in India. Yeah. Then it's all fine if there is an understanding, okay? But if there is no understanding, if the clubs are against the guys who are playing in the PLS, then it's absolutely, I would say, you know, there might be a loss for some of the players who would, uh, you know, dream big. To make their dreams successful for playing one of the big clubs like in uh, Goa, we've got Dempo, Talgonkar, Churchill, and in Calcutta, we have got East Bengal, Mohan Bagan, and all the other clubs. Okay. So it all depends on how the juniors take themselves. A sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Sarvesh Veluskar. Log on to www.prudentmedia.in if you have missed our bulletin. You can also follow us on Twitter by following us at Prudent Goa to get latest news as and when they happen. Meet us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash prudentmedia. With this, we come to an end of this news bulletin. Keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.